Hey, welcome to NavMD's Healthcare Marketplace webinar. I'm Glenn Fisher, your host. Our webinar features companies that share the same passion and values. Healthcare is broken and it takes a village to fix it. Finding actionable insights and data and pairing it up with proven solutions to help employers be more profitable and provide world-class benefits that leads to better health, better value, and better care for 157 million Americans. Today, we're hosting Lynn Youngblood, Chief Revenue Officer for NavMD, and Dr. Bill Hennessy, CEO for Pratter. Pratter means pricing matters. Here are the facts around routine outpatient care. When we talk about routine outpatient care, we're talking about blood work, imaging, surgery, and urgent care. Outpatient care costs represent about 30% of the overall healthcare spend. The costs for outpatient care are all over the place, and that's because hospitals are the most expensive place to receive care because the facility fees drive up the cost. Lynn's going to show you how to use an analytics platform to quickly identify the outpatient care costs, uh, which once again are blood work, imaging, surgery, and urgent care. And then Bill is going to show how Pratter is making a difference with some of the leading employers in the country. Pratter is healthcare blue book on steroids. The money map, pricing portal, search and save engine solutions make it easy for members to make better choices. Plus, they're incentivized with cash. Pratter's impact has been tremendous. 30% average savings on outpatient care which impacts the overall healthcare costs by around 9%. So let's get to it. I'm gonna turn this over to Lynn Youngblood. Lynn has been a leader in healthcare analytics since 2005, when his family pioneered the very first health analytics platform for employers. Lynn, show us how to identify actionable insights quickly and easily. Thank you, Glenn. So, NavMD takes the mystery out of what's really driving costs and where the opportunity is to focus in on what's manageable uh, for any population. So we're taking a look at a real company here for the past few years, you know, quickly identifying what are the top conditions uh, using a lot of intelligence layers, as well as the emerging risk of a population, top pharmacy, top providers, who's got the lion's share of uh, cost. And as you can see within this group, where is the majority of cost by place of service, outpatient, inpatient, office, uh, ambulatory, surgical, and emergency room? Just looking at the top five. So going deeper into this information, if we click on the uh, medical side and the uh, members utilizing these services here, let me focus in from a provider perspective. So this is interactive but being able to see again you know hancock regional hospital representing uh, well over two million of the uh, costs followed by community hospitals of indiana and cedar sinai medical center uh, for this particular group as well being able to isolate you know a outpatient hospital and the number of members that are going to these uh, facilities uh, but understanding this information whether it's at a high level or the details uh, so if I switch over into the for procedures perspective, you know, what's at the top? Uh, emergency department visits, uh, office visits uh, right in here, along with uh, an understanding of by even clicking on the uh, emergency department visits, what are, what are our trend? And again, where are people going for uh, this information and why? So this information is important to be able to understand at a high level, as well as down to the details. And this is where Pratter comes into play because uh, utilizing these services is where they can really make the difference in terms of making sure that people are going to the low cost facilities for these high frequency services. So uh, uh, with that said, uh, Bill, I'm gonna turn it over to you to uh, show how uh, you take this to a, a different level. Super. All right. Well, thanks for having me, NavMD. Glenn, Len, his team have been awesome uh, to work with. It's fun prattering with them. Happy Pratter Day. I'm Bill Hennessy, MD. And, and 
we do focus on routine care because 99 out of 100 only receive routine care. Two things Lynn said that really stick out. You saw it there. Pratter knows it too. Hospitals is where, are where the most money is spent, and it's the facility fees, not the doctor fees, that drive costs. Always in the top five care drivers uh, of, of 10,000 billing codes are ER visits. First slide just has our pretty logo. That's it. Uh, keys to Pratter. We do not sign the carrier business associate agreements or non-disclosure agreements. We must be able to be 100% loyal to our employers and unions. We do not want any dilution of our value proposition. We do not want a financial conflict of interest. The other key, we only handle at prior privacy compliant data. We're medical money. NAVMD, they do an awesome job. Any company of any size, 30 days from the day they get the data, it's neatly organized on their server, available to be shared back and forth with Pratter, analyzed their way. Uh, they follow all the HIPAA privacy compliance. They're a fantastic partner. Pratter, we're very unique. We're one focus, cost, savings, and transparency. And I'll uh, get asked this kind of question every day. HHS, which stands for United States Department uh, Health and Human Services, uh, they had a ruling. And I get, what does that do for employers? Right there, nothing. What do I mean? Well, still in today's world, employers are paying the lion's share of medical bills, but they're not looking at them before they pay it. And they're not looking at their medical bills after they pay it. You can't manage what you can't measure. Well, what's this law do for employees? The answer is nearly nothing because only one in 10 hospitals comply and hospitals are the most expensive place. This isn't required of independent surgery centers, blood work centers and imaging centers. And a lot of people don't even know what an uh, ambulatory surgery center is. I know everybody on the line does, but there's lots that don't. So we want to get away from the business proof of concept, which is if you pay blindly for care, you're going to be taken advantage of and pay even more blindly for care next year. Uh, so with this HHS, why don't the hospitals comply? This isn't even a, a slap at a mosquito bite in the back of the hand. 300 bucks a day is 109,000 a year. Typical hospitals grossing about 1 million per bed. Not that it's out, off that bed, but even a 300 bed hospital has about 300 million in revenue. 109,000, it's just the cost of doing business to continue to surprise Bill America. Uh, you know, they also bury search items uh, and they don't include billing codes. They use unacceptable abbreviations. This is why it doesn't help you. This is where the combination of a NAVMD and Pratter makes it's so second grade easy to understand. That's our strong suits, how to ask for the data and how to understand the data to make it actionable. So uh, we have to have solutions too. Everybody thinks steerage, the industry, the deep state of healthcare has said, let's, let's focus on steerage. Meanwhile, there has to be employer level cost transparency. That's the most important. We could steer employees to better priced places, even without the pricing. But the employer's got to know its cost drivers and fix things at the health plan design. If it ever has a hope and a prayer of getting cost con uh, containment on its health care spend. So I'm going to start off with the employer. Outpatient care costs an employer more than inpatient care. Only one in 100 is a high cost claimant. Pratter's there for the 99 percent. We know that the facility fees drive costs. Our recommendation, use hospitals if you need hospitalized or cancer care. Insurance is for a catastrophe. Pratter treats the outpatient market like the commodity market that it should be and will be and is evolving to be. So it's true, self-insured are clients and uh, the 
they have an access right to their data. It's called ERISA of 1974. Doesn't apply to just uh, retirement, applies to health. A beautiful thing happened January 1st this year. An extension of ERISA, the anti-gag clause got put in effect that says you have full legal right to every cell of information on every billing form. Anything to do with cost or quality, you have a right. Very well spelled out. And that is going to be uh, significant in generating cost transparency by Pratter, NavMD, and others. So for the employer, again, we say you can't manage what you can't measure. You got to see real names and price tags to do something about it. Aggregate reporting by itself is insufficient. Uh, I, I snagged about a half dozen examples to go through quickly. Everybody wants to talk about, well, what about that open heart surgery or knee replacement? Sorry. In aggregate, it's not your cost driver. It done that up to 252,000 here for a, a case of uh, just over uh, about 1,200 employees. It's a metabolic panel. No doctor involved, just a machine. Same square footage, same technician, same network. That's commodity care. Take a look at the bottom. We're naming the hospitals. This is what was really paid. That's the claim allowable. It's not the fake high charge. That's what was paid. So method especially in Texas, $1,681 went out the door 20 different times for a test that Medicare pays 12 bucks for. Or in the world of Prater, about 80 bucks. Carrier national average. Can it cost a lot less? Yeah. Stay away from the hospital. Don't go down the hallway. Trust your doctor with your life, not your wallet. LabCorp, 47 in this case. Often I see LabCorp at 10 or 12 for this, 115 times, so that's good. But it's inexcusable to have that pricing variation permitted. EKG chasing, you got to be kidding me. It's not even the interpretation. A group paid 1.7 million, averaged 2,000 per EKG. Guess what a new EKG machine costs? That's right, 2,000. <clears throat> so dialysis, we have a button here. We can go switch to all CPT codes. And we look for a few outliers. You see dialysis, 3,000 a pop compared to the carrier Medicare average. Again, there's solutions. We're not going to discuss them today, but we're pointing them out. You have a, an injectable drug here, uh, so uh, another injectable drug. We don't do that, but out of 10,000 billing codes, we want to real quickly point out what your cost drivers are. Instead of dialysis, uh, this publicly traded company has a syringe a 3cc syringe, they're paying over $6,000 for the syringe. Again, should be under five bucks. You can't fix this unless you find this. Uh, right here now, we see um, what's the single greatest, I repeat, the single greatest mistake employers make when purchasing health care. Answer, giving the hospitals a free pass on how they built and the carriers a free pass on how they pay or reprice. There's a game going on, according to them. It's too serious for Prater called a game. But they think it's a game, it's hospitals. DRG codes, three digits. Revenue codes, four digits. CPT codes, five digits. Five digits is the most specific. Take a look. Look at the average amount paid for a CT if it has a four digit revenue code. If it had a CPT code, the national average is 1100 by carriers and $400 by Medicare. So the same care item has two different price tags, very different price tags, depending on the billing schema used. This has prepayment integrity fixes. This also has Pratter solution fixes. Notice who does this. It's always down here. We're showing you the names of the hospitals. It's the hospitals. Where do we want people to go for routine care? Not the hospitals. Then you don't have as much of this revenue coded stuff going on 
and there's a business ROI. This is the worst thing happening right now. The employee, only one thing motivates, it's money. Just hear me repeat money. Money motivates, money saves money, money makes money. And we have a map, Google markers right here on a Google map, color coded. Done in seconds. No, you don't have to type anything. We don't want you to spell big medical words. You're not doctors. Nope, we're not showing the pricing right here because you don't want to know the definitions of a charge and the claim allowables, the copay, the co-insurance, the deductible and TPA payment. I just put myself asleep saying that. Don't want that. I'm the only one that wants a PhD in medical billing. The average employee doesn't. <clears throat> so we're able to show right here, hold on, hospitals, they're the purple markers. Now you see them, now you don't. There's still a heck of a lot of choices in a whole lot of cities. Sure, we're not gonna do much business in North Dakota, sorry, North Dakota, but there's a lot of places with a lot of choices. We have this working in as few as just 10 money map providers where they're in network, they're lower cost with lower facility fees and no billing shenanigans. What do I mean by no billing shenanigans? The urgent cares have been vetted by Pratt over the past two years, each one of them. They don't use ERCPT codes. They don't advertise as a freestanding ER. The carriers are letting them get paid a grand a visit. It should be about 170 bucks. We got rid of the shenanigans. We did all the thinking so you don't have to. And we're going to be different than the rest of the market. Apps don't save money. Patient education doesn't work. They don't want educated. Website hits. That doesn't mean I saved any money. I visited a car buying website this morning. So what? That doesn't mean I bought a car or saved money. It all comes down to savings and ROI, and we have savings and ROI report. How do we engage? It's gotta be one easy to use and two money. So everybody has three things in their wallet. This is, we aspire this to be the fourth. You have your driver license, your health insurance card, and your Visa or MasterCard. We don't think you should be letting the four carriers, if you're the employer, market as the four carriers in your business. It's your money. You're paying for the other care. You care for them as the self-insured. So Prater says, we're gonna give you your logo on your savings card. And we did double homework here. You don't have to look for who's in network. We're showing you who's in network and we're showing you the better price places in network. The message is short. Go here, get care, save money. Go here, get care, make money. We'll go over make money next. We make a Pavlovian. If there are the millennials that like the IT stuff, this QR code will take you to the money map. In under a second, you can use the phone number 543210 and text hashtag money map. It takes you to our money map. Good for urgent cares when you're out of town and you need to know where to go that's in network and where you're not going to get ripped off with a surprise bill. Now, this could be used by benefit consultants, health plan TPAs, the employer, direct provider contracting, and the employees for cash pricing, as well as denied or out network bills. We call it the Prater Pricing Portal. Prater's got to begin with P. And in the background, we have recreated the carrier and Medicare fee for service schedules. And we've broken them down by component. You can put in the billing code or you can put in the test name and autofill. And we'll show you what each item costs. And we have a default cash price. You can range this from every 10% all the way up or down to you what you want. And it'll calculate it for you. So why do we have networks? Well, one, we think carrier networks protect us financially. The real answer is 1,000% pricing variation. What's the other reason? We don't know the price of care items beyond a doctor visit and maybe a couple simple things like a chest x-ray or a cholesterol level. 
Well, for 17,000 care items, no, you know the price. No, I foresee a day where this is going to be used to pay direct by employers and unions and eliminate the middleman. Hospitals, are they ever going to cooperate? They will be the last to cooperate. We will get the independent medical care provider community first. And then some of these are going to have to follow. It's going to be the community hospitals first, the university and the tertiary care ones that are level one trauma centers that have crazy high costs. Anything with the word sink or mercy in it is or children's is very expensive. They're going to be the last. So you get two choices. You get to be a leader or a follower. The most transparency is created by taking self-insured data. That's the most. Yes, there are probably 700 to 1,000 of 5,700 hospitals or thereabouts that have cooperated in total. Most to some degree, maybe 600 or so clean where we can take their machine learnable files. So they're supposed to put the carrier discounts, Medicare, Medicaid, and, and cash pricing per care item. That's for 300 care items. They must publish machine learnable for all of their care items. So if they do 7,000 care items, all 7,000 are supposed to be, I can download them and any of you can download them. The question is, what are we gonna do with it? We at Pratt or no. Here's an example of machine learnable. Our IT team says, we understand this, and they make it searchable. We went after two big systems, Sutter and Kaiser. All of Sutter Health, Kaiser chose to only show cash price and their own network. We scroll down, and we're showing you the carrier discount, and we can do this for every single care item for every one of Sutter's 23 hospitals. Likely we'll do Cleveland Clinic next, but we're going to be selective about which markets we do this in and run self-insured claims data against the local hospital that they use the most. Rank the networks. There's always going to be one that's best, one that's worst. And the hospitals, what's the best and worst price in a city? We're creating capitalism healthcare. Again, you can't manage what you can't measure. Sutter is saying in these kind of examples and through many care items, and this is available on the bottom of our homepage at Pratter.us, a Kaiser Sutter pricing link, just to showcase what we can do. You don't need a carrier network. They told Blue Shield United Cigna and Aetna to go home because the best price is the cash price. Maybe for one care item, it's the Blue Shield price is the cash price. Another one, it's the Aetna. The middleman's not offering any value the way uh, Sutter gamed the system. Now, usually the cash price is, you know, a half of the, uh, the, the discounts that the carriers offer. Not here. But now you know what you didn't before. It doesn't matter how big the employer is or how small the employer is. If we really had to, Prater, you gave us a half million lives worth of data from a Fortune 10 company. And tomorrow, they're searchable by their Blue Shield pricing. We're showing everything here. Why? Why would we show the charge? Because one in five times claims are denied. That's your maximum risk. You go to Methodist Hospital Dallas, your claim is denied or out of network. Your financial responsibility is $6,359. If it's accepted by Blue Shield and you haven't met your deductible, you owe $1,572 as the facility fee. Same network, significantly variable pricing. The value prop will eventually offer to hospitals is this. They want commercial market for common care. Again, it's the common care uh, that, that drives costs, the commodity care. Just be better priced on 10 or 20 care items. Tell everybody to come to your hospital instead of your competitor. Automatically, companies would save 20%. That hospital gets the commercial book of business. What does it leave? Medicare, Medicaid, poorly paying public payers as breadcrumbs for their competition. This will happen, but again, the money map right now is your independent, in-network, better price providers with better facility fees. You know, I, I didn't want to talk for an hour because uh, 
it's not fun. I'd rather just open it up to questions, hard questions, fun questions. Anybody has any questions, let's do it. Peter Grimes um, asked, do you have care advocates that an employee can call for pricing and help? Yes. Yeah, the number one, we will leverage in, 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 in a geographic region, that employer's claims data becomes available on our search engine for both the employee as well as the Pratt or medical billers. If that care item that they're going to is a new, different, uncommon one, they call us, we will do our best to call and interact with the facility to get the price. Awesome. Uh, Joey is asking, how can we drive employees to lower cost labs and diagnostic providers if the member is capitated to certain providers? It's uh, money. And I said, thanks for that question. We use a very friendly Visa card. So if we started with an employer May 1st, everybody, including Glenn Fisher, gets a Glenn Fisher Visa card. It's a debit card. It looks real pretty. The employer puts money into a trust bank account. I generically refer to it as a slush fund. Glenn goes and gets care at a money map provider. It goes to support at Pratter. We verify Glenn Fisher is a employee of that company. It's a money map provider. Let's say it was imaging care. We put $100 on your card. Early enough in the day, you get it today. If not, you get it tomorrow. So we want that $700 CT. Now $100 reward for Glenn is 800, but you did not go to the hospital for 1500. You save 700 as the health fund. So it's instant money gratification or else they don't care. And it's gotta be real money. And Bill, one question, I'd, I'd uh, just to make uh, certain for understanding the card that's published for the members. Yes. Um, that is a specific to the member's location, correct? That is correct. They are custom to where each employee lives. We do have a savings calculator vetted and verified in terms of its techniques on a 700 million spend and over 100 employers and unions clean claims data. You can put in uh, whatever number of employees you want and the engagement, 20%, 30%. And this is the real bottom line savings. So this is one rare moment in time where you can actually enrich a health plan while spending less on it. Usually, uh, if you spend less, you get less. You're spending less, but you're actually saving money for the employer and employee. It's a win, win, win. Save money, make money as an employee, and the employer saves money. I, I'm, I'm really thankful for each of you joining us for the time today. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about uh, analytics or about Pratter, uh, you can reach us at getinsights at navmd.com. Let's revolutionize healthcare together. Thank you.